more with, with, with something to the cooking. It's cooking. Well, anyway, so as, as I said, I'm not interested in the facts of of what happened. I never was too much of the of the actual facts of the disagreement. But and, and now you're saying you know the facts. You know those facts. But I asked you, do you know all the facts in the world? Those facts are related. No, no I asked you, all facts. How do you? Are you sure? All the facts related to the agreement. Yes, I know all the facts related to the agreement. I don't think it was fair what you did. Do you know all the all the facts? What if there's facts other than those facts of like who did what? But there's facts about how humans should behave with each other. Facts. Well, you should, you what, should, you shouldn't what, what, be, what, you should be demanding twenty hit at twenty. Take that off. No, no, don't ask. Don't don't go into specific things. We're not talking about the details of the agreement. Like you, 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 you said that he was gonna. Get, was supposed to give you some cream and he said you were supposed to give him some chocolate and you were going to make chocolate cream and you guys all got mixed up and you gave this and he didn't do that all that kind of bullshit i don't want to hear about i want to talk about something more important how are human beings supposed to be with each other and what are the spiritual principles and we were saying i was telling you do you, i was asking you do you have any resentment in your heart or any anger alexi because i told you if you do it's only going to hurt you that's a spiritual principle that all spiritual teachers teach and my question is, um, is like, I'm I, I'm not I'm not Joe. I'm not making his case or your case. I don't want to make either case because those facts. I wasn't there, and even if I was, it's very petty and, and, and humiliating for me to even have to be involved in such uh, like an issue related to something so petty, which is an argue, which really comes down to people's feeling of fear of losing some little bit of money, which has to mean that you know you both no, are no, you it, both it, you it both. Was, it's more than that. Uh, it's more. To me, it was. I feel like he extorted the whole entire house. He extorted the house. How could he extort the house? No, he's extorting you. That's what I'm saying. If he extorted the house, do you really care? No, he, he did extort the house because he put pressure. Because I, I, I got pressure from Maria and. Did, you. Didn't you put pressure also in the house? What? The, what? The, what? That put pressure? Because I said no. You were because you were you were the one who was the most angry. You're the one who ran downstairs and wouldn't socialize. Who wouldn't talk to people? Who? Because 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 I, I, the whole situation was bullshit. Well, yeah, I know. So you were having anger, uh, like a little bit of a temper tantrum over that, in the sense that you were shaking your hands, yelling. You when people would start to talk, you would you would interrupt before they finish. You wouldn't actually let them finish their sentence when you'd say, "I don't know what Joe is talking about," but then you wouldn't listen to the end of his sentence. I know Cause, he, cause was he was. He was. I, you, I got pissed because he brought up the cooking, which had nothing to do with our original original agreement. He was telling me straight up bullshit. That's why. Was, that's why I was pissed. Yeah, but you know, people can do that sometimes. If you were, if, why would he? Well, why, why? Why would he? Why would he? Because he had nothing else. What? Nothing else? What? To argue? To, 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 to argue with me? Because 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 he just paid me off. A couple days ago from the last shipment which I told him yeah I, yeah yeah so and I was very honest with him when I told him when I canceled the deal yeah I, I'm not saying you weren't honest about and that it, deal. I feel like I feel like he was trying to take advantage of the situation and playing on people's feelings about it okay so that's how you felt I know he feels totally different and I know you feel different than him I've talked to both of you and you both feel different and, 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 even, uh, and it's not in my it's not in any interest to me okay whose story is making more sense his or mine honestly i don't really want to get be uh, i'll be honest whose story makes more sense his or mine because they're going to be you really want me to tell you i think i'd be ready to tell you that neither one sounds very good when you see two people who should be brothers and who have been to a lot and 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 you see a, you see a a guy who went and, and cleaned your room for you for two hours just because you said you didn't you couldn't do it one time and now you're turning turning on him like 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 viciously like with anger and and great hatred of, at him for for what he's supposedly doing and trying to take advantage of a situation when he does hasn't he also given very much in other situations not not recently well, okay not recently not, did, 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 he's always fucking depressed he's always fucking sad he always doesn't, doesn't do shit okay now what what Okay, haven't you been depressed and sad? What did you do? Uh, and, well, and, and have I have I been trying to do something about it? Have I been working about it? Has he have been, I, what does, has he done? Nothing. How do you, he is doing things. No, he has not. Yes, he is. Name one thing. He, he's he's make, trying to make a business, getting... Get but what business? So, selling weed. So I'm, I'm selling weed. Oh, okay. Is there anything wrong with that? Well, he's not doing a really good job with it. I don't believe that people should be forced into shitty jobs, Alexi, just to earn their sustenance. And when they have friends, and people who love them, I don't believe that the, well, well, I, wait, wait, let me finish my sentence. I don't believe that a person who has people with great, vast resources 
and who love them would force them into something shitty that's not good for them that they don't want. Just well, I don't think this is good for him. Also, to stay in his room, depressed. Also, no, that's not good. So you can tell, then you should go in and give him. I did. I, I, did, you I, go I, did I did tell him multiple times. He doesn't do shit about it. So oh, I, so I just gave up on, on him now. I I've been trying to help him over the summer. He has not done shit about it. So why should I help if he doesn't you, want to do anything about is, is it, it? It's on him. Is this the way you tell him, just like this? I did. I at one time I was harsh with him, and he, he actually finally moved his ass. Looking for a job. Oh, so, so people need harshness in order to go. Sometimes, get a, yes, they do. They need why, to, do they, why do they need to go look for a job? Well, how, come, how come the only why, time? Why, why, why Todd, let me explain. How come the only time I was harsh about him not finding a job, and the next day you look for a job? Explain that to me. Because um, that's the message that all of society gives you. Because he deep down he got the idea himself that if you don't earn your way, you don't deserve anything. Because he was not. He was dumped off on his own because he was abandoned because he didn't have his mother was too busy and she was too concerned with her life with her boyfriends and boyfriends that that, that that as soon as she had a chance to get rid of him she just abandoned him for her boyfriends. He had a tough life. The people who didn't show him enough love and and he and and some of us don't have to get in those situations. He did because like you know maybe they have parents who write them checks and stuff and fathers and mothers. Why my mom wrote me a check? I, um, I'm, Probably that maybe it was the, the the when you she wrote the check for the rent when you moved into the yeah, house she, she, on over in Forest how, Avenue. You know how many times Marie gave him Joe the break? Oh, a lot. So, so now it's too many. So you had have you? No, I didn't say it was. I, I just said, I just said you, you want to compare. I I've done more, a lot more than you know, than, than I think a lot of people give me. And I and I. Well, think, yeah, no, is it, it, what, do you, what does that have to do with you doing more than you? What are you saying? You're now you're talking about how you've done more than people. We're talking well, about well, we were talking we were talking about Joe. We're talking uh, about that Joe didn't get much love and support, and and uh, and his, well, fa if, if his father to, died when he was young. His mother. My father what, died when I was young too. Was, 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 was is that an excuse? Uh, well, excuse for the fact that you got kicked out of a house for being too messy, and then your mother had to write a check, and had to actually the, the one who contacted me to look for a place for you to live. When you and when you moved into Forest Avenue, and that you've gone and that you went through terrible, terrible times of self-doubt and 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 feeling like you were like worth nothing, so that you had to spend hours and hours talking to your friends Joe and Todd and everybody down by the train about Jocelyn, and then when well, then well, I, mostly, mostly you, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Joe sometimes did. Sometimes he'd just clean your room for you or whatever just to help you out. Um, but yeah, a lot of people held water for you, Alexi. A lot of people carried water for you, and you're not aware of it because you're not aware of all the facts. And even and, and also there's this question: when you were born a baby, what did you did you what did you? Do? So I should give the ten heads to Joe because he cleaned clean my room a couple more times. Forget, forget about that. That's not the issue. I'm not talking about a specific issue. I'm talking about principles of life, how we're supposed to deal with fellow human beings, and it, what baby would you see and say that fucking little baby didn't earn shit? She's he or she's is still lying there in their own shit. I'm not gonna fucking waste my time on that. Oh, that's a baby. It's a little different. Uh, oh, oh it, it's a little different. Why is it so different? When, when, did, when, when did that baby stop stop deserving love? When that baby when saying stop. When, when, when does the baby stop deserving love? You give it. When, what age does the baby stop deserving that love? You give it love automatically when it's baby. You take care of it. You don't ask it for anything. Um, if it if it's at what point does it stop losing that? At what point in age does it Your become worthless? Where you can just leave it out in the cold or, uh, or, 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 or tell it to go and do something miserable and shitty. Here, this is your location here. I don't want to distract uh, you. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. North. So I need to park somewhere in front of me. You could double park and I can sit in the car. Yeah, just double park. Where I'll just park right here. Isn't it? Oh, is it the place? It's, it's the other side. So I'll just yeah. make it easy. Yeah, just park right, maybe here. Maybe I'm going to be... Um, all right. You go into the guitar first, and then we can we can finish the conversation. Anyway, I'm I'm not talking about your little argument. I'm talking about just how we deal with people in general in life. But let's talk about it more after you uh, do your job. I didn't mean to get into a long like, uh, into a long discussion. I was have, I have enough issues of my own, but and I don't want to upset Lexi, but because he's being nice enough to take me out for a ride. Um, but but I don't also want to tell him like you know get involved in the discussion. I really more like to talk about basic principles. Not like some specific issues of this, he said, she said, he said this, he, he was supposed to do this. It's more like, what, how are we supposed to treat each other, people? That's all it's about. And, um, uh, like, money and selfish fear of not having enough is, and the anxiety is totally wrong, wrong, wrong. I mean, I think.
It's caused a lot of pain and for a lot of us. And now it's time for it to stop. That's what I say. And it shall stop. I will it to stop. I am envisioning a world free from this anxiety of money where there is no money. And where everyone treats each other with love and respect and kindness and forgiveness at all times and would do anything for anybody that they come across because they'll realize that truly you should love your neighbor as yourself. They will say, I love the Lord with all my heart and soul and I love my neighbor who is everybody that I meet as I love myself. So I love these girls and I love that guy oh, and this one uh, oh, 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 as myself. Hello. Have a nice night. Thanks. You look wonderful. Hey, can you bring a photo yeah, that's a video. Oh. I'm gonna put it on Love and Truth oh. Love and True Think uh, YouTube. Love Cool. I don't know what he said, but anyway, that was funny. So there's an example. Say something nice to this guy here. Say, come and jump in the car. <laughs> just, just kidding. Shake it up a little. Go outside your comfort zone. 